This is Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. The question I got asked just now is, how can I have different headers on various pages of my Google Doc? And I'm going to show you your options in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create this content just for you. So I have a document. Uh, it's about a three page. It is, I think, pretty sure it's a three page document. It's the third page right here. And the header, this is the header right here. Header, the same header here that I have here that I have up here. But I want the, maybe I want these headers to be different. And here's a couple ways you can make your headers different. First of all, I can say different uh, page one. So then this is the first page header. And then you come down here and you can see this is header one and this is header one, which is different text than this is the first page header. Okay, double click. This is the first page header. Now, if I want this header here to be different than this header here, then I have to use what's called section breaks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm on page two right here. And if I come down here at the bottom of page two, let's say it's the bottom. Now I could do a page break, which is just simply, you know, shift enter or excuse me, control or command enter. But that's not what I want. I want a section break. So I have to hit insert break section break because interesting enough, there's no short code for section break, at least not there. So I hit a section break. Now what has happened now is this is this is header number one. Okay. But if I come down here, look here, I, I have this header linked to the previous header. I can unlink that and I can write, this is section two header. It's, it's not, and it's different than the first page because I made first page different already, but I want this to be different than the page above it. This is header one and this is header two. This is header one. And down here, this is header two. And furthermore, if I go down further, I have another page. Look, this is another page right here. So I can click on this and I can say it's linked. To, it's not linked to the previous. So I can put where it says this is section two header, which is the same as up here. Then I can change this and say this is section three header. And it's different than the one above because I'm not linked to the one above. By the way, these options here are for header formatting, page numbers, and remove the header altogether. In summary, you can have the page, different first page, uh, have a different header than subsequent pages. And furthermore, you can change the headers in the other pages by putting a section break, insert section break, and then I'm going to have a different header here and I'm going to have a different header down here. I believe also that what I could do different than the first page, this is the first page of section two. And so by default, this would be different as well and subsequent as well, because this is the first page of section two. So that you could use that feature as well, or you could just simply don't worry about using that and just put different sections. And every time you want to change the header, you insert a section and you can change the header on each section. Experiment with using these features of, um, you know, different first page total at the top of the page, different first page on the section, as well as unlinking to the previous header. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is useful for you.